everyone so in today's video i wanted to do a quick little haul i've picked up a few things recently and also made a couple of online purchases so i thought i'd share them with you only one thing in here is actually repurchased and everything else is either things that i've never tried before or i've gone for brands that i've never tried anything from them before i will start off with the repurchase if you've watched my videos before then you'll know how much i love this this is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Black Shock Gel Liner. It's like the Benefit Their Real Liner with the with the sort of rubber applicator and then you twist up and then the products on the inside. I don't actually use it straight from the tube like this. I normally put it onto a lid of like a product and then use it with a brush. So I do really want to try just the normal Maybelline gel liner just because if the formula is the same, that kind of packaging will be a lot more beneficial to me than this. But just because I know that I love this, so I just picked this one up again. I have actually used some of these products, so I can tell you what I think of them, and then some of them I have not used at all yet. And then when I was in Boots the other day, they had 3 for 2 on Maybelline, and I wanted to pick up this foundation anyway, so I also picked up a few other things. I got the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is normal to oily skin. I've heard quite a lot of people talk about this, even people who have got more dry skin, and everyone raves about it. I've heard people comparing it to like the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. So I thought I'd pick it up and give it a go. Especially now it's getting a lot hotter. I do want something that's a little bit more matte. And then I can just add my sort of highlight. I got mine in the shade 105. This is more my sort of in-between tan shade. So I'll have to mix it with some lightening drops when I'm not tanned. And then I'll probably have to mix a little bit of a darker foundation. When I've like, got a fresh tan on. Yeah, I haven't actually tried it yet. I love the fact that it comes in a squeezy tube. Because I know that in, I think in the States it comes in a glass bottle. With no pump. Which I don't like that kind of packaging. So I'm excited to use this. If you want me to do like a general review. After I've used it for a couple of times. It's supposed to be really good for like blurring pores and things like that. The next thing I've got is the Maybelline Brow Satin. Duo Brow Pencil and Filling Powder. This is in the colour Dark Blonde. I actually used it today to fill in my eyebrows and I really do like it. It's It's got like quite a thin pencil on one side and then on the other side it's got like this sponge applicator which has got powder on it. It is really good. It's, it just creates quite a nice natural brow but I particularly liked it for the front of my eyebrows just to get the sort of hairline strokes. I do really like using powder but I wanted to try something a bit different and I thought I'd get this because Maybelline was on three for two. And then the last thing I got is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Razor. I've, I've heard quite a few people talk about this and say how much they like it. I, I've actually tried it now twice and I do really like it. I don't think that it really does much to my pores, but it does really smooth my skin out quite a lot. And especially when I've got like blemishes and when they start to go a bit dry, it just smooths over it really nicely and it doesn't. So then when I put my foundation on, my foundation doesn't cling to any dry patches or anything so I do really like this I wouldn't just say it's for people with oily skin I think any skin type could use this it is a silicon base but it's a very sort of soft silicon I feel like the um like the benefit for professional is a bit more dry so that's perfect for people who are really oily and have really big pores but I wouldn't say that's good for people with dry skin Whereas this, I think you could use if you've got dry skin. So I definitely recommend picking it up. So the last three things are from brands I've never tried anything from before. And I am really, really excited for two things in particular. A new Boots has just recently opened up near me and they've got a NYX counter. So I decided to pick something up and just try it. And I got the NYX HD Concealer. This is in CW12. It's the green one. I've not even opened this yet, so I don't... I've not actually tried but I find that sometimes when I get like breakouts I get quite a big red patch after when they go and I just get a bit more red in general in the summer so I thought I'd just get this. I've watched quite a few videos on like colour correction and things like that so you know I don't I wouldn't go all out with like the yellow and the orange and the purple and the green but I definitely think that green would be a beneficial colour for me just to help tone down any redness. And I've heard a lot of people say good things about the NYX HD concealer. I do think I'm going to like it. I just hope that when I put my foundation over the top, you can't still see. But I feel like using this and then hopefully using this on the top, because this is supposed to be quite a good coverage foundation, hopefully the two should work quite well together. And the next thing I got, this is something that I kind of debated on for a few days getting before I actually purchased it. And this is Stasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I've seen so many people rave about this on Instagram and YouTube and things like that so I just had to pick it up. I've wanted to try Anastasia eyeshadows and products in general for a long time now so I just thought I'd 
I just might as well pick this up because every time I see one of her palettes I always think they look gorgeous but this palette in particular I thought just was perfect. So it comes with a nice mirror, it also comes with a brush which I don't normally like brushes that come with the eyeshadow palettes but this one's nice and soft so I probably will use this. But I'll show you the colours. So it's a very sort of warm toned palette. The thing that I love about this palette is that there's not that many shimmer colours, there's a lot of more matte colours. I think there's only three, there's two quite shimmery colours and then there's, there's two which look like they've not got a lot of shimmer in, but the rest are matte. And the colours, like these kind of purpley pinky colours, I don't have anything like that. And it's got some more sort of slightly more cool toned colours as well, so... I'm really excited to use this and I just think there's so many looks you could do with this palette. I also think that if you've got brown eyes, this palette, or blue eyes, brown or blue eyes I think, I mean with any eye colour, but I just feel like someone with brown or blue eyes would get so much use out of this palette, so I definitely recommend picking it up. It was expensive, it was £41, you do get 14 eyeshadows with it which I think is pretty good for the price, so if you want me to do a tutorial with this, then let me know and I can do that. I'm excited. So the last thing I picked up is something that I've been debating getting for a long time now. Every single time it's come back in stock, I've always thought about getting it and then when I actually finally go to get it, it goes out of stock. So I knew that the next time it come back in stock I'd have to get it and I finally did. This is the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the colour Celebrity Skin. I debated between getting this one and Mannequin. But I just thought I'd go for Celebrity Skin because I don't have anything like this. And to be honest, I'm so glad I did. I haven't actually worn it yet properly, but I did try it on my lips yesterday when I got it. And I have to say, it's the best formula ever. It's so like smooth and it's so thin. And even while it was drying, I was like rubbing my lips together. And normally as soon as I do that, the lipstick's ruined. And it just didn't, didn't do anything. You couldn't even tell that I was doing that. And then when it completely dried down... It didn't even feel like I had anything on my lips, so I was really, really impressed with it. I don't know how sort of long wearing it is, but I'm going to wear it tonight when I go out so I can let you know what it's like. It has a bit of a funny smell. Like, I feel like it smells almost like aniseed. When I asked John, he said that he thought it smelled like medicine. I don't dislike the smell, it's just a bit weird. But the colour is so nice, it's quite different to what I'd normally get. So it's like a sort of brownie peach nude. So it's just maybe, it's just a slight darker nude of the kind of colour that I would like. Because I don't like cool tone nudes, I only like warm tone nudes, so I feel like this is perfect. I ordered it on the 17th and it came yesterday, which was the 23rd. So it didn't take, it didn't even take that long to get here. And I had, I followed the tracking online, which was, seemed to be accurate when it was in America. But then as soon as it came to the UK it kind of stopped and I had no idea what it was and then it just suddenly showed up so yeah it didn't take that long to get here so I was quite impressed with that. If you want to see any sort of reviews or any of the products more in depth then just let me know in the comments down below but I definitely will be doing like at least like a get ready with me or something using all of them. And when we went shopping the other day Brooke also came so she picked up a couple of things so she wants to show you them. And now I'm going to show you the things that I got. The first thing I got is Arlo. I got him from the Disney store. He's from the Good Stein store. The second thing I got is the school um, the Pundle set. I'm going to show you what you get inside. First thing I got the Pundle. I'm, I'm in the tower. Here I got um, the Pundle and Flynn. Now the first thing I got is my chair. Pondle put Flynn in this chair and she wraps him up in her hair. Now the first thing got the mirror. Next thing I get is this box. The next thing is I got is white pants. This is Pascal. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.